I've told you previously that Outlook rules are great for handling incoming emails that fit specific patterns. Either the email is from a specific sender, or has a common subject line, or even has some predictable text in the body. Outlook rules can check all sorts of criteria in incoming emails. However, there's one scenario I'd caution you not to use rules for. Getting rid of emails you don't want to see. Because Outlook's already got that covered in its junk mail filtering feature. I once saw an Outlook user who had set up separate rules to automatically delete every email that came from a whole slew of email addresses. Every time she got an unwanted email, she made a new rule. While yes, you can use rules that way, she'd set up over 100 rules to filter out the junk, and they were slowing her Outlook down to a crawl. This is why in a prior video I've cautioned you against creating too many rules. Once we cleared out all the unnecessary rules and made a note of the email addresses she was filtering, I showed her how to use the junk email feature. It's frankly a lot easier than setting up a rule for every new unwanted sender. You can find the junk email feature on the Home tab in the Delete command group on the left. But instead of you having to remember that, you can right-click on any offending email and in the contextual menu that pops up, go to Junk. In the flyout menu next to Junk, you've got several choices of what to do with the email you've selected. Block Sender, which will send that email and any future ones from that sender to your junk email folder. Never Block Sender, which will ensure this sender's emails never go to the junk email folder. Never Block Sender's Domain, which comes in handy if there's a particular company's emails you never want rerouted to junk. And Never Block This Group or Mailing List, which is handy for ensuring you receive email set to mailing lists you're on. This is how you'd handle emails on an email-by-email -email basis. Right-click and send them either to your blocked senders or your allowed senders. To do more large-scale junk mail management, go into your junk email options like I showed you earlier. Home tab, Junk, Junk Email Options. Once in the Junk Email Options dialog box, you can set the level of filtering you want Outlook to do on the Options tab. After that, go to the Safe Senders tab to add any email addresses or email domains like at company.com by clicking Add, typing in the email address or domain, and clicking OK to finish. If you have an entire list of emails in a text file, you can use Import from File to import that list directly into Outlook. Now go to the Blocked Senders tab to do the same thing. Use Add to add one email address or at domain at a time, or use Import from File to import an entire list. Click OK to save everything. From this point forward, your settings will be applied to all incoming email. It's a good idea to check your junk email folder periodically to see if anything you actually wanted to receive accidentally ended up there. If so, right-click on it, go to Junk, Not Junk, to move it back into your inbox. Don't forget to add this sender's email or at domain to your safe senders list.